Hello everyone. Welcome to Best Recipes with Sharon. Here is a treat of a sandwich. This is Campfire S'mores Sandwiches. They are so good. Let's get right to making them together. First you'll need some slices of fresh white bread. And as many of those as you have people that will eat them. Now we'll need some graham cracker crumbs and either some chocolate chips or your favorite solid chocolate bar and some mini white marshmallows a little bit of butter a little bit of sugar and cinnamon and we're ready to get this all put together I don't know if you had brown sugar sandwiches when you were a kid but this is what reminds me of it a little bit because this is a bit of a sweet sandwich treat now then start with a little bit of Nutella this stuff is so good Coat the bottom slice of each sandwich with Nutella and spread it out evenly right to the edges. This will help the rest of the ingredients to stick to the sandwich nicely, but it will also add a lot of nice flavor. And of course you can do as many sandwiches as you like. There's no actual ingredient amounts because it depends how many sandwiches you want to do. And you can do this right in your own kitchen. You don't have to do it out of the campfire, so that's kind of nice. So you top it with some mini marshmallows now and spread them out quite thickly on each bottom slice like this. Miniature marshmallows work better than the large ones because you need them to melt nicely. Now next, you'll add your chocolate. And I'm going to do one sandwich of each. Put some chocolate chips on one and I'm going to do some milk chocolate bars on the other. Then give it a generous sprinkle of some graham wafer crumbs. This will really bring out the s'mores flavor that we're looking for. You can add some more Nutella on the top slice and then close the sandwich if you want to. But you don't have to add the Nutella on the top slice. But we do have to butter the outside with some nice fresh butter. Or some good quality margarine works well on this too. Now this is just so that you can fry the sandwich and it will brown up nicely. So you'll need to butter both sides, bottom and top. Turn your heat on high and take a nice frying pan, put it on the stove and get it preheated till it's nice and hot. And this will only take a few minutes when it starts to get warm. Turn your heat down and you're ready to fry. Because you want it to be nice and hot to start with, but frying it a little on the slower side so that it has a chance to melt those marshmallows and also for the chocolate to melt as well. Now the butter that you've put on the outside of these sandwiches is enough to fry it in. You don't add any extra butter to the pan. And you can see here how it's nicely starting to brown up. Adjust your heat up and down as you need to. As you can see, it's starting to melt nicely inside. So you can even put a little bit of a lid over it if you think that the heat needs to absorb into the sandwich a bit more. But make sure that it's nice and crispy on the outside and soft and melted in the middle. Now just to finish it off really nicely, sprinkle the tops of each sandwich with some cinnamon sugar. Just when you thought it couldn't get any better, right? And this is so easy to make with or without the campfire. You can do it right in your kitchen, right in the frying pan. All right, I couldn't wait to take a bite. It won't be the last one either. I hope you enjoyed this sweet little video, and until next time, happy eating.